Hello and welcome. I know what you're thinking. Oh boy. Pontiac C10 video and I'm in the G8. Well, there's a reason for that. I am traveling to finally pick up my transmission in, well, Gasserbroville, whatever you want to call it. Because uh, it's going to be there probably about an hour now. A little over an hour, something like that. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Box transmission. I've never seen it. Several episodes back, and well, guess what? Finally, close enough, I can drive, go pick it up. And that's where we're going. We'll go pick up this really, really awesome transmission. So, uh, let's just head that way. I mean, obviously, we're already that way, so let's just keep going. And this traffic kind of sucks right here. transmission and uh, I'll let someone who knows more about it tell you about it because you know it's special <laughs> is that right Darren yes yeah this is out of the Ponte Carlo um, this is a 204 R um, they were running into Ponte Carlo they pulled it out to have it rebuilt and in the meantime uh, Jim Wanger said uh, we're not using the overdrive. Why don't we just put a turbo 400 back in it? So anyways, this transmission got rebuilt and it's basically just been sitting. Um, so it changed hands from Dave Anderson to Bill Baker to me, and now it's going to you. <laughs> so now you've got a transmission that's built for a 850 horsepower nitrous engine that was in the Ponte Carlo and uh, got a 2900 stall and it's a reverse manual valve body. So that'll be fun. And uh, the ironic part about it is when you told me it's from the Ponte Carlo, I thought, so that's cool. It's from a Chevrolet that had a Pontiac swap into it, <laughs> which it's destined for again. Yes, that's so awesome. That's, so that's that's actually pretty fitting. It's, it's living up to what it was built for. <laughs> so yeah, cool deal. So now all you gotta do is throw nitrous on that thing. I, yeah. I've done that, I, I, I might, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> it's tempting, but uh, yeah, yeah. It's something else to worry about. Something else to break parts with. Right. But um, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, if I was going to do that, I would probably go the uh, the very common route here. Yeah. Supercharger, supercharger, yeah. supercharger. <laughs> hey, yeah. There is kind of a theme in here, huh? Yeah, there is. So. Except color-wise. Yeah, yeah. He's into that blank. I like bright. Yeah, you got so. two whites. Well, it's got some red on it. Let's yeah, give him some credit yeah. there. For sure. But yeah, he's he's uh, about half again as much horsepower as me. Yeah. Now, isn't, that, isn't that right there, Transmissions by Dave? Yes. And the same guy, too. Yeah, yeah. They're all Lowell's Automotive. Dave Flores is Lowell's Automotive, and he's the guy who built that trans, this trans, 
that trans, and then the new trans, the new turbo, turbo 400s, they're all turbo 400s. So yeah, we're just gonna build me one to handle that. That 800 <laughs> foot pounds of torque hit. <laughs> so yeah. That thing. Yeah, that's but gonna yeah, be cool to see it in Norwalk. Yeah, with all sure. the upgrades done. Next to that. Actually, that would that would be a good lineup. That's you can almost see it. You can almost see it from here. Yeah, yeah, that's about how far apart they'll be. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a gas. <laughs> <laughs> now it goes without saying, it is cold. It's snowing. We got the transmission back home. Now it's going to change the valve body and the stall for something a little bit more appropriate for this engine, street driving, daily driving. That won't be a big deal though, it'll be easy to do. But, so whether like it is, it's going to be a little bit, you know, where I can do anything. Plus, uh, still recovering from the surgery when I filmed this, so I still got some time, downtime. So, yeah. But yeah, I went and picked up the transmission because it came from, well, he brought it from California. So I went and picked it up and loaded it in the back of the car. And, uh, and now I could have took the truck probably and picked it up. That'd be more practical. The GA's got plenty of trunk space and even with the transmission in the back, it got better gas mileage. And that's all I was hauling, so I went with the gas mileage route this time. So, Whew, it's cold. Now I gotta figure out what to do about the engine. Gotta think about it, how I wanna do it. I'm going to start digging into it. I need to make a plan and not just open it up and go crazy. So, got to think about it. I almost thought about just getting it running and driving it. But, I was told it was freshened up when I got the engine. And, uh, well, people tell you that. I don't know 100% sure. I never tore into it. So, I need to look at it. Figure it out. I know about what cam I want. I know I want to change the... I want to upgrade the bolts to aftermarket hardware because I know the stock bolts were not the greatest. But also, I don't know what kind of hardware is in it at all. So, yeah, the same thing I want to do. And I probably could get away with just running it. Done it before many times. Heck, the gray truck, it's been in there for 12 years. And, uh, you know, it's kind of one of the things. I just bought it and just took the chance. I've done that with a lot of vehicles, had some good success, so it just depends. But yeah, I'm, I may do that, but I do want to change the cam, 100% sure. Do a little head work, do a little this and that, you know, good stuff like that. And bigger oil pan, but just not go too far, so. Yeah, so springtime, this will come back. I got most of the pieces, except for basically the engine and rear end. Maybe the drive shaft. I got the old drive shaft. I'm not sure if it'll handle it or not. I may have to have one built. Not sure yet. It's better safe than sorry, I guess. But that goes to, you know, how some of us just spend too much money on the project. But yeah. Hope you look forward to more episodes on the Pontiac C10. As always, thanks for watching.